but everybody knows everything. I think that just makes it a hard time to exist, you know? And I already think it's like the hardest time to exist. Like, I think my generation, I think we have it the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> Man, my, my life, so hard. Amazon Prime, Apple TV. I, ne- I got too many subscriptions. <laughs> I didn't mean to subscribe to such a hard life. <laughs> you know, and we're like the first generation of roommates. That's hard. It's hard. It's hard to go through your day to day knowing you're gonna go home to a grown man. <laughs> you're gonna go home to a grown man just clipping his toenails on your couch. And that's your couch. He didn't even split it with you. And he's on there clipping toenails in bed shorts, which are just shorts that he wears to bed. <laughs> but it's 5 p.m. <laughs> it's 5 p.m., bro. Like, did you just wake up? Or are you calling it in early? You know? <laughs> also, why do I have memorized what you wear to bed? Like, I don't love you. <laughs> I don't care about you. You're only here because I need half. <laughs> but there's just too many people. We're running out of space. Like, so everybody gets a roommate. Like, I have a friend in Indiana. That's a place where you're like, oh, I bet. But you, but you own a house. <laughs> you live in Indiana. Why would you live in Indiana if you didn't have property? <laughs> So they go, he just lives in a house with three other people, so everybody's doing very badly. (laughs) Across the board, everybody's doing bad. You could like see that we've been running out of space, like if you look at technology, like audio specifically for this joke. I don't have another example. I just came up with the audio one and I was like, all right, that seems good enough. (laughs) Like in the early 2000s audio, everything was like surround sound. You gotta get a surround sound system. It's Dolby Digital 500. Everybody's like, whoa, 500? Was it always 500? They're like, we don't know it, but it's loud. (laughs) Like bring your boys over. Your boys are like, wow, this is loud. (laughs) This is louder than your wife, you know? And it was the early 2000s, so we hated the wife, you know? <laughs> I don't know why, I wasn't. Everything was surround sound, and now audio is just noise cancellation. <laughs> They're like, you don't wanna hear what's going on out there. <laughs> it's messed up, and the walls are thin. <laughs> and, and you don't really have space for four speakers and a subwoofer. The only space you can afford is in your inner canal. (laughs) Just an itty little bit of space, that's all you got, baby. (laughs) But my my proposal, my prop, my proposition, my idea to save space (laughs) is we just combine golf courses and cemeteries. (laughs) That's a good idea, be serious. You gotta be serious about this. I think that makes the game a lot more fun. You know, you gotta pitch it over a crypt. Like, yeah, I earned that par four. I had to go over George the Third. I also think it makes it a lot more convenient. <laughs> It'll be convenient, you know, because a lot of people playing golf. Hey, they're also on the back nine of life, so. (laughs) Like, oh yeah, grandpa dropped dead right in the sand trap. We stepped over him and then we hit the country club for a BLT. (laughs) 